4.35 in the afternoon and I'm only now doing the intro to this vlog. Where has the day gone? I haven't even done anything yet other than go for my walk, grab my coffee and take my Instagram photo. There is so much I need to do and it's 4.30 already. Oh, by the way, welcome to another vlog, my friends. It has been a while. It has been a long time since my last one, probably months. So I thought since I have a very busy week ahead of me, I'd bring you guys along. A lot of you reach out to me saying that you want to see more vlogs, more behind the scenes stuff, me going about my day. And since it's going to be a jam packed week, I thought it would make a very vlog worthy vlog. So yes. Okay. So I'm in the studio because I have a lot of organizing to do. This stock was from my most recent video, the massive try on thrift haul that you guys would have seen last week. I need to put away all this stock, meaning I have to take it off the hangers, fold it, organize the clothes into the shelves that I have in my built-in so that when I sell the stock, it's ready to be packed and shipped, of course. So that's what I have to do. On the floor, there's a whole mess. This whole studio is looking very unorganized. So I need to clean, tidy, and organize the studio. And that will take me probably till dinner time. So if I want to get this done before dinner time, I need to get cracking and stop rambling. So cue the organizing montage. This rail is for my personal wardrobe, so I'm going to take that over to my room. The studio is looking a lot more tidy and organized. All the clothes are in the wardrobe. My little workstation is looking tidy, and yeah, I've just kind of just tidied up a bit. I feel a lot better. This is an order that needs to be shipped tomorrow. I'll take my glasses, my phone, and go into my bedroom. Now I've got to find room to put the shoes away and I've got no room. I've got no room for clothes, shoes or bags. I can feel a declutter video coming on soon. Not, not, not in this video, that's for sure, but, but soon. You know, I mean, these shoes, they're a little big for me, but I just love them so much. I really love them and I know that this is not my lifestyle. This shoe does not go with my lifestyle. How can I put it? But I just love them. And I wanna keep them for maybes, you know, for maybe I'll have a date. Maybe I'll be invited somewhere fancy. Maybe I'll have an event to go to. I just, I can't pout with them. So I've gotta find room. I've gotta find room and I've got no room. I'm gonna to have to buy a new shoe cubby. I bought a couple of things 
from the Zara sale. I bought so much and I had to return almost everything because the sizing is just wrong. They've gone smaller in their sizing. So just a heads up, if you are going to, you know, purchase something online from Zara, size up. Okay, so the last delivery I got from them was these shoes which I'm returning because I mean I love a mule I love a pointy mule I thought I would love these they are a little on the small side but yeah I'm returning them I've already put in the request so they were originally I think 60 and I got them for 40 but they're not leather but they're cute right I wanted a, a metallic gold shoe to replace my Sam Edelman little gold metallic flat pointy shoes because I love these so much but look at them they are they are just on their way out I've worn them so much and I've been trying to find another pair online and I can't so I thought these were going to be the replacement but look at the difference in the gold that gold is just yeah I'm more about this gold than that this is soft and subtle this is too too out there but I will I'll put them on just so you can see you know they're not going to really go with what I'm wearing you don't wear shoes like this with a pair of shorts well not with my legs anyway but I'll give you a little look that's how they look and if I show you in the mirror you can kind of see that they're a little on the small side now that I'm looking at them I'm kind of questioning my my decision what do I do I'm not sure you guys I am so confused right now because I was so certain I was going to send them back. But now, I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. Anyway, those, I did keep this top, which I have already worn on Instagram. It's so, so so cute i love it i love this little bodice it's really fitted on the body and then it's got that beautiful off the shoulder it's really cute so that was 60 and i got it for 25.95 and i also took this cute little striped number so it's like a boob tube kind of fit and then it has spaghetti straps which always fall fall off my shoulder and drive me crazy but I just think it's so cute and it's such you know I love stripes it's just cute I loved it so this was 20 but originally 40 and I got myself a beautiful gorgeous cream blazer it's a textured fabric it's in a size medium it was all they had left it was 170 and I got it for 60 and I just love it I love the fit I'll show you what it looks like and basically that is all I ended up keeping I ordered heaps more stuff heaps and I was hoping to make a video and but all I've been doing is returning everything and it's just it's been disappointing but that is how it kind of looks I'm not wearing the right thing obviously but just so you get an idea of the fit so I have to unpick these pockets but I just love the the silhouette of the jacket the shoulder pads the length it's a beautiful warm jacket for those in-between seasons I can wear it when we're transitioning into winter and when we're transitioning into summer I just think it's beautiful I love the button cuff detail the single button closure there I just think it's it's gorgeous so I'm keeping this so I have a rail just outside my door where I put new ink pieces things I have to photograph things I need to film for a reel or whatever and let me show you a cute new piece okay I found this dress you guys for one dollar 
Okay, so it's a cotton dress in white with lace detail. I love the neckline, halter neck. In the waist, it's kind of like a teed skirt and it has these ties on the side, each side, that you cinch in so you can cinch in the waist. I have not even tried this on. It was only $1 from my church op shop. But I had to take it because my friends, on Saturday morning, I am going to Bali with my cousin. That is my exciting news. I am so looking forward to this trip. It's a girl's trip. And, you know, I just, I really need a vacation that's just for me where I'm not on mum duty, where I can totally indulge and enjoy some girl time and just Bali's the perfect, perfect destination for that kind of holiday. So we leave on Saturday, today is Monday. I'm trying to get everything sorted and um, organized and uh, you know my content done before I go. So I do plan on filming this trip. It's going to be a Bali vlog, a girl's trip, Bali vlog. Last time I vlogged in Bali was with my mum and I love those videos although they don't get many views. I'm so proud of part one and part two of my Bali vlog and if you have not seen it I'll link it down below so you can enjoy that if you're into travel vlogs which I am. I am travel obsessed and would love my channel to have a chunk of content that's all about where I go on holiday and who I'm with and what I get up to, what I eat and, and all that good stuff. So yes, I do plan on filming it and I'll be on Instagram every day. So there may be a couple of weeks where there's no videos, but you know, that's okay because I didn't take any time off over Christmas or New Year. I was, I missed one week that was just the Christmas New Year break, which I thought no one would watch a video anyway. And um, I was, yeah, just back on, back into work, have not had a break and I desperately need this break. I have been under a lot of stress in the last few days, couple of weeks maybe. I mean, a lot of pain. And so tomorrow I have an appointment to see my acupuncture guy. Hopefully he will, you know, open up all the channels and de-stress me and do his magic so that I'm ready for my trip on Saturday. You guys, I need to put that stuff away that I bought from the, from the studio. Okay, there are a few pieces in this lot that I am taking on my holiday, so I'll just leave those on the rail outside. I'm taking that little crop top. I'm definitely taking this dress. I am not going to be taking this little black crop top so that can go in. I'm not going to be taking this little wool top, knit top I should say. So that can go there. Not taking a t-shirt. And I will not be taking this with me, but hopefully I'll be wearing it soon. This is not going with me either. This is not. This cute little skirt, how adorable is that? I wanna photograph that. I think I might take this. This is fun and flirty. And I will take this dress also. And maybe I'll make a little black and white capsule curated vacation outfits wardrobe. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. A black and white outfit, a curated black and white vacation. No, a curated black and white outfits capsule wardrobe for Bali, yes. Oh no, it may have it may have to be a black, white, and blue capsule wardrobe, vacation wardrobe, because I'm definitely taking those. And I'm taking that little skirt as well. What am I going to do about these shoes? What am I going to do about these shoes? I'm returning them. I already I already did the, the paperwork online, so it's going back. Okay, so tomorrow I will drop that off. I will also have to post that. I'll tidy this up and go have dinner. So I think I may say goodnight 
and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Yes, I'll do that. So I'll see you guys in the morning. guys I am running late for my acupuncture appointment it's 9 38 the appointments at 10 but it's only 15 20 minutes away I had to get my coffee look how good it looks the first sip is always the best I needed that so badly okay let's hit the road I've got my protein bar so I'm gonna have that with my coffee on the way gotta post my parcel after that I have an appointment at 1.45. Me and Gabriel both have an appointment to get our skin checked. So I'm pulling him out of school a little early so we can do that. You guys, I made it just on time. It's 10 a.m. on the dot and I'm here. So, let's go do this. I do feel some relief, but usually with me, it takes a couple of days before I get the true result of the acupuncture. You know, my body takes a while some people feel that instant relief yeah I just I do feel better but you know the pain is still there I'm still very tight very sore and just it feels like there's a lot of pressure but anyway I've got a couple of hours up my sleeve before I pick up Gabe for our appointment so I'm not really sure what to do should I go home and get some stuff done or should I just pop into some op shops around this area? Change of plans, you guys. I'm at my local shopping centre. I've got too much to do to go op shopping. I've got to just let that go this week. I need to get a few things from Kmart. I actually saw a bag that I think is going to be fantastic for my trip. And I need to put this in the post. So, anyway... Okay, so it's kind of like this, but it's in black and white. I think it's a little different as well. It looks more chic than this. I'm over in the men's section and I have been looking for a white Panama hat with a black rim. This one's navy, but look, it may work. It's only $5 and it feels and looks really well made. A little big so it sits right around my head I do have a big head but this is not bad at all for five dollars I have to take it okay so happy with the hat so that's a good thing the black and white bag I need to go to a different Kmart so now I think I better go and shoot my outfit <laughs> morning you guys I'm just finishing off getting ready I have a lot of errands to run today and I'm not feeling great I still have the remnants of my migraine I took some more medication um, it needs a little while to kick in and I think I'll feel better after a coffee but I'm just putting on some jewelry I've got to get my bag organized and that's all I'm wearing a little white polo top a vintage pleated skirt that I thrifted and my high top trainers. I'm gonna wear my Ana Luisa chunky chain, which I love, and the matching bracelet. So I washed my hair. Whenever I have a migraine, if I wash my hair, it usually helps a lot. It was due for a wash anyway. It's been so hot and sticky 
that, you know, it's just, I just feel so gross every day because it's been so hot. So today feels a little cooler and I thought I'd let my hair air dry. Finally got it in. Yeah, I thought I'd let my hair air dry and, you know, usually it's it doesn't turn out too bad. With the front bits, all I do is, there's no product in my hair, I just combed my hair out and then I shake it up a little bit, just like that. And then I get the front sections and tuck them behind my ear so that when they dry, it creates a natural bend. When I'm not well or having a rough day with my neck, I just can't be bothered with my hair. I'm extremely low maintenance. I love air drying it and doing this little you know, behind the ear thing because it just creates a little frame around your face. And it's amazing that if your fringe or bangs or just the sections of hair around your face are kind of done a little bit, it somehow just makes the rest of the hairdo look, you know, passable, like, okay, groomed kind of. So yeah, that's it. I'm taking my little Oriton sling bag and my glasses, my phone. All right, so let's go get coffee and we'll go from there. I am a creature of habit. I think you guys know this by now. You know, this is what I do every morning. I grab my coffee at the 7-Eleven. I have it with my protein bar on the way to wherever I'm going. Yes, I do go to a coffee shop once a week and you know, but basically, I eat the same thing every morning and lunchtime is usually porridge, usually. Sometimes I switch it up. You know, I need to keep it real with you guys because, you know, that's just how I roll. I am now, my friends, going to um, go to, I still have to drop this off, this Zara box. So maybe I'll leave that till last because I need to go and get some money, exchange some money you know, Australian dollars to rupiah for Bali. I still need to see if I can try and find that bag from Kmart. I still need to start packing and take my photo. I think that's about it for today, but this protein bar, it's called Nature Valley Protein Peanut and Chocolate. I have been eating these now for maybe even a couple of years. Along with my coffee while I'm driving, it's just so delicious. They complement each other. And I am not a big breakfast person unless I'm traveling. Then I indulge. But usually I'm just not, you know, a breakfast person. I need my coffee. And this just keeps me satisfied until I go home and have lunch, which is, like I mentioned, porridge or it may be a toasty, or it may be a muffin, or whatever it is I'm feeling like. But I love porridge bowls because they are healthy, nutritious, filling, and keep me going so I can get on with my work until dinner time. I also have heaps and heaps of fruit as well. So anyway, look at it, how delicious is that? It's so delicious, you guys. Actually, I know that a lot of you actually eat these bars now because you've told me so. All right, you guys, I'm just parked outside my little op shop in Tukli. I want to have a little look, just a little look, to see if perhaps I find anything else to take with me on my trip. The only thing I found are these little backless loafers. They're by the brand Florisham. That is a really expensive brand. They make really well-made shoes. Look how comfortable they look, but they're a size 40. They're gonna to be too big. While I'm here, I may as well just pop into the salvos, right? guys no luck in the salvos either but yeah enough up shopping for today I need to use the public restrooms 
then I'm going to shoot my outfit, then going for a walk. Guys, I just took my photo with that graffiti wall, my backdrop. Hopefully, there's some good shots in there. I don't think I'm going to go for my walk. I'll go straight to the shopping center. I'll get my steps in there, even though it won't be in nature. But yeah, I wasted a bit of time in the op shops. And so that's what I have to do. Okay. So hopefully my hair didn't look too atrocious in the photos. Let me just check. Do you see what I mean, you guys? There's a natural little bend. I mean, this hairstyle is zero effort. Air dried, front bits tucked behind the ears, and yet it does not look too bad, right? What you do need as a foundation is a good haircut and a great shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> whatever I have at home. It's not like I'm lacking in bags. I just wanted something comfortable for my shoulder and neck. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I exchanged my money, so that's good. I got all my money, so that's great. So now I'm going home because I'm hungry. It's 20 to 4 and I've had a thought. I need a day to edit this vlog, right? I upload every Friday. So today is Wednesday. 
that leaves tomorrow for me to edit. So I need to wrap up this vlog today. What I'm gonna do is look through my wardrobe and see if there's anything in my current wardrobe that I wanna take with me on the trip. Then we will go into the studio where my suitcases are and I'll look through the results section of my wardrobe, which is over in the studio as well and add in whatever else from there. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so this is the bag from Kmart that I got last time. So it's in a leopard print in this tan color. Inside, it's beautifully lined. It's made out of cotton. It's got two pockets on either side. It's nice and big. And more importantly, it's so comfortable on my shoulder that I may just take this one because that black and white one, I just didn't like the shape. I think this one's so much, so much nicer. So I'll take that. I will definitely be taking the $5 hat that I got from Kmart. You know, I just think it's so well crafted and I love the color white, navy, it's classic. It was only $5. I've been looking at hats, as you will know from my previous videos, for $150. I cannot pay that much money on a hat. Okay, so let's see what else from my wardrobe I want to take. So I think I want to take this little coral clutch because I haven't used it yet. And I think it's just a beautiful purse to take with me for the night time. You know, whether we're going to dinner or out to a little bar or, you know, a fancier restaurant. I just think it's beautiful and I think a pop of color no matter what I'm wearing always works so I'll take that I don't think I'm gonna take anything from here perhaps maybe some strapless tops I've got this little navy and white one or this little black and white one I think I'll take that black will possibly cute little broidery anglaise top perhaps and I think that is it. Okay, so now for any other bags I may need. I need one kind of, I think it's this one. It's just made for holidays, right? I actually got this from Bali when I was there. I'll take that. I'm definitely taking my little bum bag, my Oriton one which I wear to death, and my coach one, which is this one, and a white one. Well, it's cream, so that one. Maybe I don't need this, but I love it. I'll just, I'm gonna fine tune everything. I may not end up taking all this stuff. So shoe-wise, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take these flip-flops that I got from Zara from their sale last time, they're clear for around the pool and around the resort. I'm gonna take my Tebas, which I did not end up taking to Hawaii. That was a big mistake. I know they're not the most gorgeous, sexy looking shoe, but they are so comfortable. More importantly, they're gonna save my feet from blisters. So I'm taking those. I need one pair of dressy sandals. I'm not sure if I should take these ones. So they're a gold espadrille with backs. I could possibly take those. Or I can wear these, which are so, so cute. They're just great, these shoes. They just dress up any outfit and they're comfortable and they just go with everything. So we'll see which ones I end up taking. But I think that's enough shoes, except for the shoes I wear on the plane, which are going to be sneakers. My airport outfit will be the same for when I'm going and also when I'm coming back. It's boiling over in Bali all through the year and we're in summer in Australia so there's no need for any you know jackets, winter clothes, nothing like that. But what I will do is take a pashmina for the plane. Sometimes it gets cold. I think I am going to take my blue one because I'm trying to keep my outfits to black, white, and blue. So I have this hat, which is kind of cute, but not for Bali. I think I'm gonna take this one. I love it, I got it from Bali last time because, I mean, it's cute, but also I love the way it looks with my outfits worn 
as a styling element you know it just looks so beautiful just there on my back so yeah i think i'll take these two hats and maybe a cap as well just in case my cousin doesn't have a hat because i've never seen her in a hat she always wears mine when we're traveling so should i take this one oh that's really cute and if i'm wearing black and white outfits i think i need this as well okay i'll take that one and a cap maybe a white one and maybe a linen one or a denim one with that little bit of blue that's cute as well look how many think no 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 too many hats that's way too many hats okay let me see which one i want these are really flat they don't have much body they're very flat against my skull i think the white and out of these two the linen or the blue you know what i'm just gonna take the three because a girl needs options and i know my cousin is not going to have a hat so three caps and three hats yes yes in regards to dresses i'm gonna take this black linen dress that I bought in Hawaii. It's got pockets, it's a tiered skirt, it's a halter neckline, comfortable, perfect. So I'll take that. In regards to skirts, I do love this skirt. I do, I love it so much. I'm gonna take that one. It's just so floaty and gauzy and light and perfect. These are a cute pair of pants and they're blue. Maybe I'll take those. Yes, okay, I'll take those. I definitely need my white denim cutoffs. A hundred percent need those. And my Bermuda shorts. These cheeky little ones in black with all the rips on them. I love them when I travel. So I'll take black, white, and maybe blue. Okay, that's it. So now all I need to do is decide from my little resort section what I am going to take. Oh my God, I can't even. Okay, I am going to take this. My cousin got me this little cotton linen blend caftan by Tiger Lily. So that, yes. I'm also going to take the white dress that I thrifted and showed you guys in a recent thrift with me so that's gorgeous i think i'm going to take this again i took it with me to hawaii but i am going to take this again because it is black and white and it's strapless and i can dress it up or down so i'll take that as well i'm not sure whether i should take this it's black and white a little bit of nude in there is fine it's a strapless dress and it's also another cute outfit I can dress up or down. So I think I need to take that. I have this white dress as well that I can take. Yeah, I think I'll take that one as well. That is it. I'm actually taking this with me. It's a little fan that I bought from Bali and you definitely need one of these when you're walking around. Now that I've selected potential pieces I wanna take with me, we're going to start creating outfits. I don't just say, I love this top, I love these shorts. I love that dress. No, I pack outfits. I'm going for 10 days. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to need 20 outfits. 10 day and 10 night outfits. No, it will most likely be somewhere in the middle. I'm not going to be wearing any belts on this trip. I want to indulge in food. I do not want anything sticking to me in the extreme heat. And I want to wear breathable, soft, floaty fabrics. Dresses are the best way to start because they are a one and done. So easy to start. With a little bit of jewelry, you can dress it up. A cute shoe, cute bag, done. You're gonna be comfortable and you know, when you're traveling in extreme heat, you wanna be comfortable, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dresses. Now, I would say that all of these dresses except perhaps for this one, are suitable for the evening. This one, maybe not because it's sheer. So I'm gonna put this over to the side for now. Now, six dresses. 
So let's do another four outfits for the night. So I've got some separates over here. We can do this skirt with this top or we can do this top. I think I prefer this. Okay, so that's number seven. Now we need another outfit for the night. So this skirt with this little strapless number perhaps. Yes, love that. That's eight outfits. Now we need nine and ten. I could do this with a black crop top. Blue and black, that's kind of cute. Love that, okay, done. Nine, one more outfit. The pants, the short leg pants with this top. How about that? 10, okay, so now we have 10 evening outfits. Now during the day, I'm gonna be in my cosy most of the time, right? Let's be real. We're gonna be sitting by the pool at the resort, ordering mocktails and maybe popping out for a spot of shopping and lunch coming back, doing more of the same. So we want something that we can kind of throw over our bikini, still look decent. So let's start with swimwear. So I have a black two-piece, very simple, a little bandeau top and a high-waisted bottom. So that's one set. I can also wear a black and white high brief in a palm print and then this little black and white triangle top that I have as well. Mix and match it, right? So I'm taking two bikinis. I'm also taking one sarong. This is the plainest one I had. Everything else was too colorful. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really one that struts around in a two-piece bikini, you know, ordering drinks. I need something to cover my modesty, right? So yes, we can also do the white denim cutoffs with this bikini top and a shirt thrown over. Shirt, how could I have forgotten an overshirt? And I know exactly which one I want. It's this vintage men's shirt that I rolled up into a short sleeve. So that is definitely coming with me. And so are the denim shorts. Okay, now do I need three pairs of denim shorts or can I cut it down to just two. A white and a blue. Perhaps I don't need to wear these real cheeky ones on this trip. Yeah, we'll leave those behind this time and we'll keep it classic with the blue and the white. Because again, whether I wear this bikini top or that bikini top and this thrown over the top, it's gonna work. Okay, so I still have a couple of things here. I will take this because it's a great cover up. I can throw this over my bikini and we can walk out and I'm done. So I'll take that. This little linen set, top and shorts, I don't think I'm gonna need. So that's going back. And this dress, I don't think I'm gonna have a need for either because it's sheer, I wouldn't wear it at night and I don't think I would wear it during the day. So no to that as well. Okay, so now let's do a run through. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten outfits. And if I'm not feeling comfortable with any of the other stuff, if I don't want to wear my bikini, I could always wear any of these pieces during the day as well. And then we've got one overshirt, a white and blue pair of denim, a little black skirt as a bottom, and one cover up. Two bikinis, one sarong, one pashmina. Now let's figure out the bags. These two bum bags, one in black, one in cream, is gonna work, right, with everything. So they're definitely coming. Maybe there's no use for my little coach bag on this trip. I love it, but we don't really need it. So that's, that's going back. Do I really need this in the evening? A pop of color, does that work? Yes, does that work? Yes, does that work? Yes, so I will take this. It's my little pop of color. The caps are all gonna work. Don't forget I'm taking extra hats for my cousin as well. So they're my three hats. 
So now for my daytime bags, this one is definitely gonna work with everything. And this one is great to just put with the, the bikini outfits. So they're both coming. Shoes for walking, shoes for the pool, so definitely, and shoes for the evening. I think I'll take both. Now we can pack them in the suitcase. Okay, I've made a little switch. So instead of taking this striped shirt, I'm going to be taking this one because it's stunning. It has a beautiful Hawaiian print through it. It's just the most beautiful, beautiful shirt ever. It's vintage. The reason I changed my mind is because this is 100% cotton and this is cotton polyester. So we're going to do a little swap over, but everything else, how I pack, pack outfits, not items. Sometimes I use packing cubes and that's a great way to maximize space and keep everything compact and neat in your suitcase. But when I'm traveling with a lot of dresses, floaty pieces, more kind of resort wear as opposed to jeans and tanks and jackets and that kind of traveling, I just prefer to not use the cubes and lay everything out flatly as flatly as possible and with as less folds as possible so that when I get to my destination I unpack my suitcase straight away and hang everything up. When you pack things up in cubes you know yes it saves space but they're all crumpled and I just hate that. I don't iron or steam my clothes when I travel. So yeah I still have to pack my undergarments my body care, hair care. And yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you guys found the packing portion of this vlog useful. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog altogether. And yeah, I'm not sure what the footage is gonna look like. I'm gonna edit it tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm going to Sydney. Saturday morning, we get up and jet off to Bali. And so my friends, I guess that's a wrap for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in Bali. Bye.